Adam Prasercomus. Threnus Astri. The train of Astria for the calends of January 1611, with the most extensive and most consulted men, D.N. The primate, the consul, and indeed the entire senatorial order of the famous Republic of Slanensis, etc., the lords and patrons, as well as the advocates of the orthodox religion and good literature, were easily the first by Adam Prasercomus, the tutor of the barons from Ronova, dressed and named. In Zoilum. Zoil, why are you wrinkling your forehead? What do you mean by anger? I am not writing to you, but to my patrons. Prague. Printed by George Hanasius. Year 1611. To Adam Prasercomus, a friend as the best of friends, so dear. Pigasides were given to you, we come, mourners above, astray's axion orinies. Where is your glory, where is your glory, where is your voice, where is the voice of the muses, but what is the end of your words? If I do something wrong, I cause a goat to be sick, I harm a goat, rather it causes a problem. This will be seen in the company of mourning, which a closed man can enjoy. A man of gold, a poetic man, is worthy, in his mouth is a blessed text. An unfathomably bad, naive mega-child, who damages a poet's work for these reasons. John Prosed Economus. To the greatest and wisest men, the Lord Primate, the Consuls, and the rest of the senatorial class of the Republic of Slanensis, the lords and supporters of their merit. The voice of Titus Vespasian, so well known and so charming, was betrayed to the memory of Titus Vespasian by Suetonius, friends, I have lost the day. By this voice he wished to insinuate and to signify that the tarn was extremely necessary, so that he should think that he had lost the day, who, having not shown himself acceptable in return to his well-deserved friends. And so with Vespasian, whenever I remember your greatest favors to me, as it is equal, I weigh with myself, that I have lost not one day's interest, but six hundred. What they say, came to me as a comma, than if I had rather studied to darken it and not to bring it out into the light, I should not have heard it undeservedly. Accordingly, in order that this, should be spoken to me by you, I am rebuking you with these poetic mirics, and at the same time I beseech you that you may receive them and bear them in the same spirit, with which it is read in Plutarch that that most powerful king of the Persians, Artaxerxes, received and had water offered by a certain poor peasant. I am more certain that you will make your accomplishments and receive the train of the Astria briefly and expressed with the elbows you meet. Goodbye. Most attached to your cares, Adam Prasercomus. Now, except for the fury of wars and bloody murders, hunger for gold, the fall of a thousand kingdoms, stomach cramps pride discord slip. At the field of Jove, they are sterile against the afflicted the serpents of the field grow fat. Now the ivy lies dishonored, hopes and skills what mage. The earth is slipping he also painted the machine of heaven. Look at the earth. It groaned with a loud crash and grew old, exhausted by many juices. For so once upon a time the dry field does not yellow now, nor does the vintage foam on the lips like this. Behold the twinkling stars of Olympus. Not so bright now the first from the beginning of the world the golden titan illuminates the earth with a lamp, once innumerable comets did not so burn the ethereal seats, nor did the ether thunder with frequent fires, but the sky was fierce without lightning. The god Astria and her four sisters are exiled. Sweet Alethea Alma Charis patience and hope of which threnews will be my epos and complaints. You just calmly sing light songs to the face of Pallas, and take Themistus, the strongest support of Nomia, and count me among your clients. The hills of Elysium, as well as the green meadows, while he worshipped the protoplasts created by the red earth, I snowed their turn rivers of nectar and ambrosia juice grew, turn felt the grape hanging, the oaks sweated dewy honey, the law-giving earth of seers bore the spikes, and Thetin did not tempt the nautical pines, the waves of the south were rolling not far to the ethereal waves, but it was the temperature of spring, and the favens were breathing the ground was not rigid nor was it frozen by hail. 
Did not the dark rose-colored head of Phoebus and Phoebus's sister cover the sky above the axis, don't wear helmets the furs rang out on the shore, and there was no trickery, nor was the ground wet with blood. Life was sweet. Snowy concord feathered while paradisiacally floated on the level, as well as the song of faith and charity and the dance of piety and shame. But at the same time as the beggar of the pelt, deceived by the trick of the dragon, leaves the blessed fields of paradise, worse age by which it flashes slowly and deceitfully, broke out suddenly he grew very fearful. But now, whatever the face, which Lima of evil look holy father, who look upon the waste lands with fair lights, and do not deceive thee with mortal breasts, will thou cease the desire of piety and justice to grow? Will the power of charity reign again? This is a rare study. Peace to Gagra, indeed, does not have so many harvests, nor does Methema have bunches, nor the seashells, nor beautiful rosary flowers, nor so many forest animals, nor the berries of Pallas's tree. How many are those whose heart is the glory of the windy tongue, fierce anger having frauds and the love of criminals lenies cups paphia's vexatious pleasure? Shall I speak or be silent? He is numbered among so many mysteries, a magician who cares for Jehovah's boat, the stormy boat tossed from side to side by the storm, mother of Eleusis, how do you fill the storehouse of Massicus with spikes, or the humor of Bacchus and the talents of Croesus? It is a great shame the rest, if perhaps the cohorts are investigating too much Gaza. Can An, the priest, be free from decay in his mind if he goes round and round night and day to swell the metal chest of the Italicians? Alas, greed is evil. Pity why the fate of Sicaeus weeps for Dido, doth he strike the golden stars with lamentation. This because Pygmalion cuts off with love why is Achaeus the king hanged? Why does Glaucus fall and the glory of the Spartan nation? The diet was both yellow because of the bulk of the metal. What will I remember? And not King Polymnester. Which, once upon a time, with a great weight of gold, the unfortunate Priam ordered to be fed by stealth. With the excises of Dardania, when he now distrusted the arms of Argolis, and saw the city surrounded by a siege, he, that the wealth of Phrygia, as well as the fortune, his tottering, Agamemnon's affairs and victorious arms followed the law, breaks faith the young man's throat is cut open and the body is left limp. Alas, how many snows are under the stars of Olympus, who can now learn to be humbled by contemptuous pride. Let him also learn to search for ethereal axes diligently, axes that result in the happy voice of the saints. Why did not the rich Alphonse follow in the footsteps of the king? Who did not carry high heads in the sky? Why not King Cassander? Keys and Nero the enemies who, while conquering the phalanxes of Mars, happy with his horse, did not want to drive happy triumphs. Why not Frontinus to you who refuses to rent admonitions? Or Porus? Or at least King Agathocles? Why should I remember Isidon with no mercy? The disciples whose decent life was equal to Olympus and the natus of God who punishes and hates pride. Dathan and Abion, why does the bottom of the earth fail? And Chor, the mighty one, struck the shadows with a thunderbolt, the pale shadows of Erebus and the deep night. These, because they refuse to obey God's prophets, the wicked and the hard set the mouth of the wolf. The wicked king of Egypt, Thetidos, is drowned by the waves, while he abhorred the people as well as Jehovah's commandments. Lucifer's snow, snow, what is the peak of the sky? Fast. What did Saul return to the top of heaven? He is proud. What is Goliath's vast body? Fast. And not the strong Nicanora. Fast. O oh fury! O, oh, the too harmful pride of the world! Mortals, how blind you ride! Alas, sweet poison! And the world's lethal honors! How many weapons how many swords do you have before your eyes if you have them? And the dangers of death! Alas, how easy is it for those who need things to come! And lead the pilgrims under the eaves of the roof and under the beds, because it is right replace the members! Alas, 
How many when the limbs melt away with pain and the infused color dies from the cold of death, are you usually sick? And shake the fiery iron of the dragon. Flying and thrusting into the winds. Defeated, pity falls. The sacred altars are falling. Why not? How many days is it that the religious temples of Jehovah rule with dignity? Shall he preside over the virtues of the souls of the people? The firefly destroy the tops of the cockroaches, which resides in the earth. Do you care for the Stygians? In addition, and lax, which Arania places the casses of Cassites, breaks. He pushes the horns that the spikes of Christ should not fix their lethal limbs. How many days are there who do not honor the Lini? Will he rush into the prohibition of wrongdoing? O Father of the High Ether, who see nearer the spacious climates of the earth, and the shining globe of the moon, and the stars of Titania, the most beautiful camp of young men you created enough give to the mystics the breath of the sacred God guide this that the harvest of virtues may rise the most beautiful, the roots do not do the vice and the vice of the hand in the middle of the group the fallen church rises, it rises like the liquid sap of a very tall tree. Let Electus fry let the seeds of Ditus flourish. I pass by the green fields of Phaebusonius, ah, how their Bomilius hisses with his mouth, and Sufinus's boisterous country laughs at the distant earth, and the saddest grandchildren are prayed for. What? Is not the studious band immersed in the lake of Bromius and Paphia? The life and manners of the centaur, loosed, rages like the lapiths, and the fences do not check that virtue. Of peace, mercy of love therefore, the long line of Christ's priests feeds the Cacoeti. Does not such a mouth exhale mephitically? The band of Phibike thus hisses with his mouth. In the days of old age, the court of the powerful is already overflowing. Not so much really new the dog melts with the mountains, and dissolves itself into a clod by Zephyr, purple flowers rise in the breezes of light and grapes in autumn, how many are now favored by the court of the Sinones, whose deceitful mind is now turned to that of kings, the princes of the magicians are now proving the tricks of Sisyphus, the tricks of the hideous Ulysses, and Pyrandric, the waste of the wasp, and the fool of Coribus. And why so? Is not the tongue infected with the poison of the settlers? Whom the learned page of Sophorus bids to flee from the sea, which frightful guards or the horrendous Caucasus feeds within, as well as the coast of the Hycanus and the Tigris. Attila of Pannonia, why the bravest Atlas of skill used to avoid these wasps with diligence, for indeed the most invincible hero while laying waste fair and Patavina storms the walls of the seat, Calabria's false poems, that's right. Orders to burn with crackling flames. Is Colax drowned by the liquid command of the waves of the young Peleus? While the rower sweeps away the Hydaspan. What do I remember Apollonius? Kingdoms rise a tree and like a clary, he says finally bloom when the loathsome lemur of the gnats freezes. O oh, holy people! Cities! Most holy kingdoms in which this most terrible pestilence of the world is exiled. O oh, holy kings whose hearts of flatterers are not imbued with poison, that the virtue of the soul requires the laws of the law, but do you perhaps wonder that the court favors many synones and liars? There are many orgies of Bacchus, where they worship the cups rose or phosphorus rises from the mouth, he covers and the glowing stars with the face of Hesperus ethereal or scent shines on the axis. Sears drank the sweet liquors of Lini or the court with his mouth, and poured himself full of gold. As soon as he did that, he joins the furious battles of Mars and despises the stars of the sky and imitates the fierce Elpinor of fate. He raises his crests, mage what? He solicits the forbidden Hymenaeus, laughs he thunders with his mouth he hated to go, he is happy and greets Croesus with his mouth. Now me and I greeted the fair halls of the mighty, if you were not heavily burdened with silver, you will go out immediately you will become even cheaper seaweed. What details should I report? The hall is an asylum of impiety of every kind, the most fertile mother of crimes. No faith or piety remains in the Mavorsha camp. The coast of the Pannonian for me, as many years have already passed, the untamed Mars has been shaken by various storms, you are a witness the Austrians cultivated the territories and Misha, 
for a fierce Orsonian soldier sent from the mouth while the ethereal Cassentia seeks the temples of thunder, referring to the horror, the old decorations dare the tall parents, nor was he afraid. To injure the hands of the bleeding he does not spare the ashes but he opens the bust and scatters the bones in the sunny, rotting fields. The force was not so great as the temples and the buried men. The army of Hungary, widely armed, fills and fills the places, and takes Strigonium, not Mars. It is a pile of copper. What? Are not the Empyreans who, by preaching, close the roofs of the pole, destroy these by their beaks, and mourn the fates of their husbands most sorrowfully? Do mothers water their lips with tears? Sad chest thump. And let them tear the hair of the gnats to make funerals. Bochkagi's fierce soldier, while struck by the heat, thunders and thrusts the Germanic iron into the bowels, behold, how many boys and unmarried girls of Nasali fall by the sword, and the house perishes with the crackling of embers. Bitcher will go to the ashes of Thurzon, the peasant crowd is slain in the fields and the trenches overflow with blood, Mr. is crying, Latonia mourns her children, Pierides mourn Tritonia palace mourns. There are Moravian witnesses, how cruel and terrible it is to hate the children of Mars and the savage Megara. For as soon as they touched the borders of these, the cohorts of the Honeyads, as well as the fighting Jazages, bowed. Behold wolves like raptors the wickedness of the belly which the blind rabies devoured, they blaspheme many bodies here and there and do not pass the religious thresholds of Jehovah, Clarius and Lycaeus straight. While Megara's furious crowd the land of Moravia lies pressed cruel grief everywhere, panic everywhere turn most of the image of death. They are boys witnesses, fields whose hooves sow the four-footed horses, sows and the happy labors of oxen. Many a soldier had crossed the fir tree's breast, he burns the roofs and the barn, he is moved by no pity, the witness of Hyperboreus is the seven subjects of the trion of the earth, which is so far beaten by Ripheus that Euro and covers the bodies of yellow cattle with bristles. Gaul bears witness, as well as the land of Sachemia, rise and kill the shores that are warmed by the sun they testify what a cruel beast the soldier is. Have you heard what the disadvantages are? I will say, they will now bring to the cities such advantages as the Sanhedrin. Achilles flourishes not by the strength of the civic crowd, not a numerous band defends the walls, the truth of Lael's excellent prudence, care of Cato accused. Why did the cities lift up their heads among Rome, as they are wont to be tough among Cyprus vines? This, because Tullius was very mature in spirit, and many others were heavy with piety. They reigned famous for their valor. Alexander the Great, following the oracles of Cortina, once triumphed on the right of Mars. For this reason he calls these venerable fathers of the country with his mouth, and salutes the gods and gods in psalms. But the Sanhedrin had already drawn many wagons, alas! Which I wish to mention briefly, is objected to by the opinion of the wise man, Dio Cato, that Etna is more serious than that is, to benefit and please the high cities, speak the truth do not scatter vain words to the winds, avoid tricks to maintain silence in secret matters, control swelling, you need to spare, I pressed this with the gravity of a man, and with the labor of Etnius, not by which the god Themis but when he is seized by an attack, they run thither and with blind minds, instead. They relax the reins. He who does not honor these praises and the burden of Etnius will affect the truth. Strong roll of Atlantis, what day is it? All the common people are striving to become famous with their voices, head and touch the stars of heaven and princes to please the men and people of the city. But how fleeting and falling flowers are that favor are testified by some examples of men of old. Which, Scipio, increased by more rare virtues, and Solon, Cato favors the people. Magna Camille what shall I remember thee? And not you great Lycurgus. And you are you serious? The people whom he heaps praise on with honor. Does the rose place above the ethereal sky the names? But that flower of praise had perished, for nothing in the world is so swift as to fly away with the acts of the common people, or with rare grace and favor. And indeed, 
I had little time to draw the sails at the end of my work, and to call the prow with haste to the land, perhaps I would play lawyers with great wit and eloquence proud artists and scribes, I would not pass you who is split with a sword farmers bowing down to the great seers and the mystics of God, clothed in the skin of Sinan, I raised the lords, the great cities which you have deceived. Therefore the children of God because nothing but the arms of the sad Erinus the earth is fat with human blood, golden peace cools lawsuits bad quarrels slip away the orgy of the clamorous boiling trieteric Bacchus, the kingdom of Asidalia rises, and Jove totters, the earth trembles the labors of the moon and the sun appear in the sky, rapid fires and comets. Why many? The earth and the poles rush, as if done with great labor, focused back and forth. To the seats of the empire, the unhappy lotus of the sky is already slipping down, so that you burn the stones and the tribulations with embers. Sat the starry fetus store the wheat, where no raucous song rebukes the air of March, and not known arise, deep seas swell not the frosty winter withered grey hair, and the rains of the Hyades and the hoarfrost. What? All pain is gone, lawsuits discord crying, let the angelic phalanxes, the divine fathers, the divine prophets, and the chorus of virgins sing a joyful song, happy and endless youth. The End